I got her the finest present the supermarket had to offer. Ah. Yeah, today is Valentine's Day. The day where all men are screwed and all girls are disappointed. I just found out about it because Vanessa woke me up with Happy Valentine's Day and I was like, oh yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> and now I called a friend of mine who has a restaurant, one of the best in the city. He made sure that we get a place in there tonight. So that was kind of solved. I'm also done checking all demos. I went through all of them and I found two new people that will be signed to the Accents label. So congrats, they are from far, far away and they made a deep kind of future based influence song that I just really like and can't wait to share with you. Coming up next this Friday is the remix of the fall song by Diamond Eyes. And then two weeks later, my stay song finally out. And yeah, that's pretty much it with the update for today. Now let's just head over to the studio and make some music. It's crazy how many doors I have to open and close every day just to get to my favorite place. So as I promised yesterday, let's talk about mastering. My mastering chain in, in particular, it's not that exciting, but a lot of people have been asking about it. So let me show you everything about it so that you can just copy it. And I will also try and explain why I'm using that kind of mastering chain. Believe me, I've tried out a lot so far and this is what gets me just the best results. So I've opened up Logic with the project it's the Not Scared project that I'm still working on, still trying to find a singer and songwriter. You cannot imagine how many people I already went through. Now, let's get to the mastering chain. You might be, as I said, really disappointed because it's not that much here on this song. First up, an EQ, just a Logic EQ. I usually don't do anything to that EQ up until to the very end and if I have the feeling that it's missing a tiny bit of top end, I just adjust it. Here in this case, I boosted the high frequencies by plus 1.5 dB above 4100 Hertz, and I cut it away at the very low end below 25 Hertz by 48 dB per octave. So here in this case, really just cutting away the low and boosting a tiny bit the, the top frequencies. And sometimes if it's necessary, I boost the low frequencies with a shelf EQ. I think, yeah, I also did it here on this song 90 hertz everything below it is boosted by 0.5 db that's like a very typical mastering eq boosting the high frequencies and the low ones and cutting away the very top ones and the very low ones uh, i actually didn't show you the very top one everything above 19,400 hertz is cut it away slightly just to get rid of that just irritating not necessary high frequency sound next up i have an ssl compressor let me actually play the track and mute it. You just need to see what the compressor is doing. The gain reduction is just around 2 dB. Those are the settings. If you want to, you can copy them. I just like the sound of those settings. It's just there to make the song have this pump feeling that is like very typical for electronic music. You could even turn the threshold down to make it pump even more if that's what you're going for. But for me, 2 dB gain reduction is usually the maximum. The makeup gain is just there to make the song louder or quieter. And then all of this is run into the limiter. Usually when I start producing the EQ, as I said, there are no settings on it. It comes at the very end, just if it's necessary. The compressor, I actually mix into it. So it's on with just 2 dB of gain reduction pretty early on when I start doing the first rough mixing, just because I like the sound and I want it to be part of my production. And during this entire time, I have the limiter set to zero dB, just making sure to just not have the song peak. And once I'm bouncing it out, then I change it actually down and make it loud. And for that, I need the last thing in the chain that is the span analyzer. If you don't have that plugin yet, get it right away, it's for free best analyzer on the market. You can see all of the frequencies in your song. It usually helps me to find weak points, especially in the lower bass parts where you can't actually hear everything. And it also gives you the RMS value, which is like the, the loudness. And it's right now at minus 15 dB. 
I then just turn down the threshold on the limiter to go even further and make the song around, yeah. Uh, wait, that's the break. I usually just measure it in the beat part. So it's around minus 10 dB RMS, which is just perfect to send it out as a demo or just to play it in your car, test the song out. And once I send the song to mastering, I get, of course, rid of the span. I don't know if it affects the sound. I don't think so, but still, just to make sure, I get rid of the limiter. I keep the compressor because I mixed into it, but I'm also getting rid, actually, of the EQ. Sometimes, sometimes not. It, it really depends. If I've mixed a lot into the EQ, I leave it on because I've adjusted everything to the EQ. If I just put it on at the very end before bouncing it out, I usually get rid of it because the mastering engineer has way more control over the EQ settings with his analog equipment than me with my cheap Logic EQ. Can you hear this? My computer is again making trouble for the first time since I opened it up and, and exchanged a thermal paste. And uh, yeah, of course it has to happen two or three days before I do the, the master class live in front of people where I need my computer to run smoothly and give a course about music production. So I hope the computer won't fail while I'm there on, on stage, but I think it's, it's a really small stage. So worst case, I might just do a Q&A. But yeah, anyways, that's my mastering chain. Really simple. Don't, don't overestimate what a mastering chain does. It's not that important. The songs usually anyways get mastered by someone that really knows how to master. This chain doesn't do a whole lot. If you don't have a clue about mastering, just leave all of the plugins off your mastering chain. Just maybe have the limiter on there that does nothing and then send it off to mastering. You will have definitely a better song at the end if you start doing crazy stuff with ozone and don't have a clue about it don't have the studio the speakers and the experience for it so leave the mastering actually to the guys that know how to master but yeah now just closing this project that never seems to get finished and and start actually the new one done with work I have to share this really quick uh, wait let me cover this I got an armada contract just one page but I will tell you more about it uh, tomorrow or just in the next couple of days right now I need to hurry up as you know Valentine's Day making the lady happy so I need to get her a nice cool present I don't know what to get but I will find something cool in the supermarket I know what we need to do Perfect can wait You're ugly as beautiful to me So stay I already heated up the seat for you and I got a present for you for Valentine's Chocolate. Day. Chocolate! It's pink. I'm going to share. Of course, that's what I expect. Okay. Are you ready for a romantic dinner? Real. Yeah, romantic. this time it's for real a romantic dinner, right? One of the best places. I got us seats there. And if you're hungry, trust me, just, just close the window. Don't continue watching because what you're going to see will make you hungry, right? Yes, it was as good as it looked like. Now I'm broke. <laughs> That's the title of the video. <laughs> Gets me a lot of clicks. Broke due to Valentine's Day. Yeah, Valentine's made me go broke. Um, yeah, but that's pretty much it. We will see us again tomorrow. Vanessa, dance fair. Are you ready? It's on Saturday. Yeah. Today's Wednesday. Yeah, be prepared, DJ Vanessa. Where's your DJ move? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah, that's it.